Hello guys and welcome to my redstone tutorial series episode 1 for 1 1.8 so first of all in this episode I'm going to be covering the absolute basics of redstone in minecraft for 1.8 I'm going to take you over some of the basic uh, uses and some of the basic uh, ways you can control your redstone and as well as maybe setting off a little bit of uh, TNT at the end so to start with you're actually in your uh, in your mining exposition is going to come across this ore now this is called redstone ore it can be mined with an iron pickaxe or a diamond pickaxe and you'll get a, probably about three to five uh, pieces per drop and the pieces will actually uh, be in sort of a dust form here so you can actually go ahead and make this into a redstone block and you, you're going to do that by uh, putting nine of your pieces of redstone in a whole crafting square and that will go ahead and craft one of these so uh, that's basically the uh, thing how you can store your redstone and how you can um, how you can use it and find it so let's go on to the uh, the thing here and actually we're gonna kill that pig because he's just pissed me off um, okay he's walked off now I obviously sense that I was coming so your redstone let's go ahead and grab a piece of redstone now this is the stuff you get from the redstone ore and as you can see right clicking on, on the ground will actually make a redstone wire now you can turn corners with this and you can also go up, go up individual blocks so if i was to go up like this you can see that the redstone will go up the side and then if i went up again it will go up another side but you'll note that if i go up two it won't actually travel up that so this is a regular redstone wire um, you'll note that it won't it's not actually activated at the moment so powering a door or anything won't actually uh, help well, well, well won't actually open because our redstone signal isn't powered so let's go ahead and see ways of powering our redstone okay so over here we've got the basic wooden pressure plate this is uh, this is really useful and it's uh, most commonly used in sort of opening doors and trap doors and things like this but for the purpose of this video I'm going to be showing a redstone lamp when the redstone lamp is activated it will produce a light source so the pressure plate is sensitive to blocks and entities and also mobs like you've just seen with that pig when the thing lighted up so let's go ahead and chuck some stone on our on our wooden pressure plate as you can see the redstone powered up it made a little animation and we can see that the uh, redstone light has um, activated a light source okay so that's that we can go ahead and stand on this to activate another redstone signal and we can also uh, be power this with mobs standing on this as well now onto the stone pressure plate there are a few more types of pressure plates in the game along with some, a few more advanced ways of powering it but for now we're just going to stick to the basics so you'll note that when I chuck a uh, a little block on here it doesn't actually send out a redstone signal to this redstone lamp this is the distinct difference, distinct difference between these two pressure plates here but you will see that when I step on this thing directly it will actually produce a redstone signal so this is good if you want uh, you want just to be able to stand on it and you don't want anything being able to be chucked on it that might produce a redstone signal okay so that's that um, onto our buttons now these things are uh, really simple we've got two types here uh, I'm actually going to head and grab myself a bow and arrow here uh, let's get an arrow like this there we go and lob that there now buttons uh, are really easily craftable, you just put a piece of stone in your crafting grid, I'm pretty sure of that anyway, it's either one or two. And then all you do is you uh, place it on a block and then we right click this to activate the button. Now as you can see it sends out, it sends out a short pulse of redstone that will turn the lamp on and then off again. So this is good if you just want to hook it up to a door or whatever, and I'll get into doors in a little bit. So here look, we've got two, we've got a short pulse coming out of this. and one of the cool neat features of this is that shooting it with a bow and arrow will actually activate a redstone but this is only going to happen on the wooden button and that's the difference between the two so as you can see if I shoot this with a bow and arrow it's actually going to activate a redstone signal and it's going to keep it on because the arrow is still keeping this button pressed if I go ahead and pick the arrow up the redstone signal is going to go off so I'll show you that again bang we've just shot it with an arrow and the button is still pressed down by this so it's activating a redstone signal okay so let's go ahead and pick that up and onto some levers then so levers are a little bit like buttons they're crafted one crafted with one piece of cobblestone and one stick in your crafting thing okay so you can place this down and right clicking this will actually activate a permanent redstone signal so this is good if you want to power machines especially in tech and stuff or maybe you just want you know to be able to do some cool neat 
pistons or stuff that we'll get into in late, later episodes. So as you can see we've actually got a permanent redstone signal powering this lamp here and if I was to right click this again the power will go off. This is really good for doors especially if you want to keep them open or you know you just want to uh, want them to open and shut you'd obviously use a button and if you just wanted them to open when they when you were directly in front you'd use a pressure plate. Okay so this is the trap chest here this was a new feature added for the 1.6 update I believe and opening this chest will actually cause a redstone signal but as you can see it's not actually working this is because opening the chest only produces a one block redstone signal so we have to use this block here called a redstone repeater to power our power our uh, to boost our signal rather so if we break this and stick a redstone repeater down you might have to check the direction these two things should be pace, facing the way you want the current to go as you can see this text pack actually gives me sort of a little current label to show me what way the current's facing and now if I was to do this open this chest we'll actually see the block light up and when I close the chest the block closes again cool so let's go ahead and grab some redstone and a repeater here I'm going to set out a 15 block radius 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and we're going to stick a redstone lamp on the end like this now let's see what happens if we do this we're going to get a lever here and we're going to stick this on the end bang so we can see that the redstone lamp did light up but the redstone is actually fading if you can see it's quite bright up here down 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 until we get to this one now let's break this put another piece of redstone down and then a thing you'll note that this doesn't light up even though we've got the signal on this is because redstone can only travel 15 blocks without a repeater so we need to stick a redstone repeater somewhere along this line so let's break this and place it on here as you can see it's now lit up at the end you can change the uh, time taken to output the the current here so if we go ahead and right click this three times we'll see that there is actually a slight delay between the flick of this lever and the powering of this redstone lamp over here so let's watch see that that was a really quick one if we went ahead and added more like I don't know we'll add one here and one here and then set these guys to maximum and then turn it off you see it takes a lot longer to turn off and it will take a lot longer to turn on as well this is because they're taking uh, ages to pass through these and let's go ahead and delete this so that's your basic repeaters they have two jobs and let's go look a little bit more into the uh, the powering system here so we've actually got a lever hooked up to uh, well actually I'll do this first so this thing here is called a redstone torch now this is really interesting for advanced builds they can be used in a lot of things you can place them on the ground or on a wall I just deleted that like this look so I've actually got one on the floor here that produces a permanent redstone signal and we've got one turned off here on placed on a wall now to turn these things off what you'll want to do is stick them next to a uh, you want them on a wall and you want to stick them next to a lever or something powered by redstone so say if I wanted to I don't know let's grab a lever as well like this put that there put that there and I'll put this there. Now this might work. Let's have a look. Yeah, as you can see, this if I turn this lever off, uh, turn this lever on rather, this is going to turn off. So if I turn this back off, this is going to turn back on. This is uh, a way commonly used to invert redstone signals. This means that if I want, oh I don't know, uh, let's say I want this to only be powered when I turn off this lever or turn on. Let me get my head around this. Okay, so we want this block to be off when this lever is on okay cool so to do this we're going to hook up something called a redstone inverter now you can actually do one of these in a one block thing just like I just did or we can actually use two blocks or more and put a piece of redstone traveling along the top block to the redstone torch here now this will turn it off or on and whenever I flick this it will invert the other side like this look so this is particularly used in pistons and things like that Okay guys, so let's have a little bit of fun and head over to our explosive testing ground which unfortunately seems to be situated in this village. As you can see I've got a block of TNT set up next to this house and a redstone wire running directly to it. This means if I go ahead and power this with a lever or any of the devices I've just shown over there, it will actually produce a redstone current that will turn, that will ignite this TNT rather. So there are two ways of doing this, we've got a redstone trail across the floor here or we can use a uh, well first of all I'll show you this so 
it's quite difficult to understand this but once you get your head around it it will come in to function with a lot of the other things that I'm going to be showing throughout this tutorial so here we've got a redstone line going directly to the block this will ignite it as you can see if I have a redstone signal going out this way uh, and we power this it's not actually going to ignite it has to be going directly to this if we want to change that so as you can see it's just ignited there okay so if I go ahead and grab another piece of TNT like this um, let's place this down here and we're going to place two blocks like this look so these are on the same level as TNT and this means that placing the redstone uh, current here will actually um, be on the block above you can see that there look okay but this means I can actually move my redstone around here so it doesn't have to be going directly to the block and then I can stick a lever on this end and power this and the TNT is going to ignite like this okay so that's your basics of explosives I hope you guys have had uh, a little bit of success with this tutorial and hopefully you're gonna click for episode 2 which will be out probably on the same day I'll let you guys know um, if you subscribe that is <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys are sort of more familiar with the redstone now please like subscribe any feedback is welcome and see you next time bye bye